Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Park Studio. In this tutorial we will talk about how we can use white render before take our main render in NSK for SketchUp. Let's get to work and jump into it. First of all, I'm going to move inside of my house in here and as you can see we have some simple living room in here. So I want to check out my frame and camera shot and I want to take one good render from this area. So uh, I'm going to start my job with the save frame. I'm going to click on the save frame in here. My frame and resolution on the 101 aspect ratio. So we can click on the visual setting, go to the output, click on the uh, resolution and use the full HD pre-ready resolution. So if I come back to the main bar, I can reduce the field of view as I can to some number and value like this. Maybe something like that is enough. 64% is enough for me. Before I do this job, I'm going to click on the non mode and change it to the white mode. It helps me to have some white glue render in here and I can manage my lights more simple and easy than the other times. So I'm going to move a little bit to the back side. Maybe something like that is not bad. Click on the F on my keyboard. Click on the create view. My pitch is about zero. Yeah, is about 49. I don't have any visual preset in here and about the Enscape scene I want to rename it to the A1 in here. XYZ is not really important but Y is your eye height so try to change it to the 0.9. Completely fix it with the real camera setting. We have azimuth and altitude in here so if I play with the azimuth the sun duration and angle will be changed for me. Something like that is interesting and I want to play with the altitude something near to the morning something like that to make all of my environment brighter with only the sunlight so it's the tricks and you need to learn them how you can use them altitude is about 15 degree click on the create option camera a1 created for us when you click on it lighting will be completely changed for you we are on the white mode so if i click on the visual setting and increase the exposure I can see the changes immediately in my environment and I think it can be really useful and interesting. I'm going to change it to the 66% field of view is okay but depth of field is not truly really right so I'm going to click on the depth of field turn off the autofocus in here and now play with the focal point I want to focus on these TV details and some other things which on the line of it for example this decoration is not bad maybe for example 3.56 is enough and power of my focusing is about 11%. I mean depth of field by the power of focusing. So if I increase the outline I can generate some type of sketchy and cartoony render in here. It can be really good when you want to show a preview of your job to your clients. For example 6% can be interesting. Click on the image bar everything is fine but I need more saturation and color temperature. Saturation related to the colors, so we don't have any colors in here, all of the surfaces are white, but color temperature can be detected in these type of scenes. I want to decrease the color temperature to make a warm render in here, 5400 Kelvin is enough, motion blur is zero, lens flare is about 10, bloom option is about four, Vignate is about 20 and chromatic aberration is 0. Come to the atmosphere, turn off the fog option. You can increase the sun brightness a little bit to the 90%. Night sky brightness is not really useful. Shadow sharpness can be decreased because we have some curtain in here which completely takes all of the shadows and sun rays in the interior design. So 14% is enough. Artificial light brightness, not really important because we don't have any type of artificial light in this screen. But 126% can be interesting. And I need to increase all of my environment only with the sunlight. So I need to increase ambient brightness as I can. Some number about 90% is acceptable. In the skybox, I'm going to change the source of it to the white cubes. And you can see your HDRI can affect on your interior lighting. Density is about zero, right is about zero, and size amount is about zero, so we don't have any clouds and our exterior sky is completely clear. Come back to the main bar, change it to the non-mode, 
and now you can see the details all of them are fine and acceptable so click on the image bar increase the saturation a little bit 106 percent minimize the endscape at your right side sketch up in the left side click on the paint bucket in sketch up so minimize it as you can click on the in model textures click on the endscape material editor click on the uh sample paint in here pick this panel in here up change the color of it to something like this for example maybe something like that is acceptable decrease the roughness to some number about 26 percent metallica is about five percent and specular is about 66 percent click on the sample paint another time select this marble in here now you need to reduce the roughness as you can and increase the metallica to the 66 percent something like that will happen so try to avoid it 24 percent for the roughness and now we have some mate texture and color in here you can add some tint color something like white smoky in here click on the texture and you can rotate the texture very simple and easy it can help you to generate more realistic renders another texture that is really important is about tv screen click on the uh, sample paint pick up the uh, tv screen texture it's the uh, full black in here and you can see all the reflections from the outside so it's not really good try to make it a little bit mate something like that maybe 16 percent is enough and we can't adjust the metallica because it's on the transparency mode you can change it to the cutout and now you can increase the metallica to the four percent next item which is really valuable i think related to the uh curtains so try to select this curtain texture in here and you can see we can see the outside of this room because this curtain texture is the uh, transmittance texture so if I decrease the opacity, you can see what really happened. And we have more view for the outside. 16% is enough. Refractive index is about 1. And I think everything about the texture is good. You can click on the tint color and add some color like this. It can be really useful in your interior lighting. In this case, I think some type of color like that can be really good or maybe something like dark salmon in here but you need to reduce opacity to the 10 percent next item is the main curtain fabrica and texture click on it as you can see it will detect it in your inscape material editor come to the albedo part click on the texture reduce the texture size to some valuable number like that now you can rotate it to make more variety on your textures you can reduce your roughness as you can to create some type of reflective fabrics in here the specular art can be reduced to the 26 because in the real world fabrics and textures don't have any necessary reflection about their environment image fade can be reduced to the 60 percent and you can see the changes in here when you reduce the image fade tint color will become more on your job so click on the uh, sample paint another time this time i want to adjust this part of my tables so i'm going to select them i want to completely convert them to the metal so some value like that can be good and the color of them can be normalized to something like that click on the sample paint another time pick this surface up about this table try to use some bright color to make your render more brighter reduce your roughness to the 14 and metallica is about 4 the specular is about 56 and everything is fine last material related to the uh, objects in here so i'm gonna click on this one my first material reduce it turn it to the metallica color click on the sample paint another time this time the term for the uh these armchair and sofas textures so i'm gonna select one of them in here which related to this armchair in this place it takes a bit of time because our render is heavy 
and you need to wait for it so I'm going to select this wood in here I need to change the color of it to something like that reduce your roughness to the 19% uh, Metallica is about 16% click on the uh, sample paint like that and now the color of it is fine but I can manage it like this for example or maybe something like this one it completely depends on you how you want to use them roughness is about 46 and Metallica is about 1 everything is fine and now time for the uh, rendering so last item related to the TV bar and I can detect it in my render scene in here I really don't like this type of color for here I'm going to select it pick it up change the color to something like that and now it's much better or something completely white it's completely related to you and your client how you want to use them in your projects for example it's the high glass MDF so 11% is enough or maybe 5% can be acceptable 6% for the Metallica and 74% for the Specular the Specular can help you to make your textures and materials in your environment more realistic than the other times so click on the close option in here camera A1 selected for me maximize Enscape in here click on the visual setting increase the exposure to the uh, 74% now we have better idea about our rendering click on the visual setting use the ultra quality rendering if you have good systems it's not necessary for the low config systems so everything is fine and now I want to take my render click on the uh, screenshot in here and save it on your desktop interior render number one and press save all right guys as you can see Enscape generate this realistic render for us very simple and easy the point is that all of the objects are the uh, SketchUp 3D warehouse objects so as a matter of fact all of them have the high quality than the Enscape asset library because all of them modeled by the software so thanks for your time thanks for watching if this tutorial is useful for you please like and subscribe our youtube channel I hope you enjoyed this video guys and goodbye.